you know, I don't know if she's speaking of the vaccine or, or what specifically about trust. No, in the government, I, I, I but, think um, Shannon says no, that, of course, the governments are all completely corrupt. I, I think she's saying that when we come to think about a new new concept of society, one that will be based more on sharing um, and, um, you know, everything that we talked about, I'm not going to take all the time to re-explain it, right? The problem that immediately comes to mind is, yeah, but who holds the re the reins? Who holds the keys to the to the fortress? You know, who holds the power in their hands? As long as it's people that are egoistic people, you can't trust them. And she's right, and that that's that's exactly the issue. That's why we need to become different people. We we need a different kind of force, a different kind of atmosphere, and different kind of uh, spirit that will a different kind of music to use your example from a couple of minutes ago that we will play between the people um you know in in um in ancient societies um societies of the past of course they were much simpler uh and so on but but they were also less developed in their ego and that's why people managed to survive in in much more in in ways that were much more communal. Um, they were they were able to coexist that way. The problem is that the ego grows, and we become individualistic, uh, egoistic people, um, and we need that ego because. Now we have the opportunity to be consciously working on connecting to each other. It's um, it's a great time to be alive, man. We are right at the right at the, the moment where everything is 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 about to to change direction. You know, we're 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 just we're, everything is inching towards the great transition. This is what what I'm seeing so clearly. You know, the, the words of the Kabbalists about this time, um, that they wrote about, a lot about our time. And it's it's becoming so transparent, yeah. Okay, so so everybody who's here with us, we don't need to be frightened by the corrupt politicians, by all of the terrible, terrible things we see going on. We need to be stung by it, emotionally stung by it. It needs to sting us enough that we understand we need to take action that we need to understand what's happening but we don't need to be frightened why because we already understand the end of the process we're not looking at our little baby crawling on the floor we want our baby to be a doctor and we see him crawling on the floor with a stick in his mouth we already know the good end where this is going so let's look at everything that's happening and see the process that we were monkeys and before we were monkeys, we were plants and before plants, we were some stardust. And, and now we are taking this stardust and it's developing all the way until spirituality, unity and love will dwell, will be clothed inside of our world. And that's where we're going. And it's a long and it's a kind of difficult process to take stardust and turn it into some kind of matter that's aware of itself and aware of all of reality from one end to the other. Right. So don't be scared of automation and don't be scared of vaccines and don't be scared of all these things. Understand what's going on. Educate yourself, but understand the process we're in and we'll do it together.